Hello everyone, this is Contra from Contra Sewing and welcome back to another edition of DIY Sewing Projects. On today's menu we have a uh, climbing chalk bag. So we have a climbing chalk bag uh, which is really easy to make. I came up with this design so it has a inner shell as you can see some fluffy blanket kind of uh, canvas inside. We have some uh, interesting design pattern on the outside shell but uh, underneath it is our standard uh, PVC canvas as usual just to make it more durable we have a uh, brush holder for cleaning your holds here as you can see we have two belt loops we have some cordage which can be used to close the pouch to stop it from uh, losing your chuck alright so Let's start sewing. Okay, so to sew this chalk bag, uh, you can do it with just one set of uh, canvas, but I'm using double set. To sew this chalk bag, the next thing you will need is a um, 12 centimeters, 12 centimeters diameter circle, another circle with a, or, um, something similar to a blanket. So uh, two uh, two sets of those. Our main part of the canvas uh, is going to be rectangle. Our main part of the pouch is going to be our uh, our rectangle uh, measurements are go as follows 20 centimeters by 38 centimeters okay so you're gonna cut the um, that blanket canvas as well uh, another set of uh, 20 by 38 centimeters you will notice that I have a um, interesting uh, canvas design over my uh, regular PVC canvas that I'm using. This is just for um, aesthetic purposes, of course. You can use whatever you want, and you can use whatever canvas you have at hand. So, um, so we have a cylinder. This is our outer shell and inside we want to have another cylinder which is sewn at the bottom and at the top. And these are the only two points that are holding it uh, in place. So uh, it, it has some sort of uh, movement inside. Okay. First I'll start by sewing a uh, logo to determine where our logo is going to be. We need to visualize how our pouch is going to look like. So this part is going to be um, at the front. So our um, seam is going to be at the front of the pouch. Because as I will show you uh, later in this video, you will have the cordage that goes through here. So, our logo is going to sit somewhere here. Like so. Okay, so after we have sewn our logo, next thing we want to do on the opposite side is to sew a um, elastic loop which will um, hold the brush used to uh, clean the holds of the route when you're climbing uh, so most climbers use brush uh, so we are going to place a brush holder. Um, 
I'm using it on the other side, some seven centimeters from the from the from the edge, and I'm going to follow this line here. I'm uh, totally eyeballing everything here. If you're wondering what's the length of the tape I'm using, so it's seven centimeters, and um, the space between the the, the seams is uh, two and a half centimeters. If that should help you, if you don't know what measures to to use. So I'll place this a bit down, so it's some 7 centimeters below the first one and we'll try to be accurate. Okay, so we have our brush holder, we have our logo. Next thing we need to do, we need to put some type of uh, cordage that will be used to close the, the pouch. We're going to use maybe half a meter or so. So we need it to stick out when we close the pouch. We need it to stick out a bit so we have something to pull onto. So I reckon some 12 centimeters, 10 to 12 centimeters of the actual length of the canvas. It doesn't matter what type of cordage you're using. Uh, it can be paracord or any other type of cord cordage you find. So let's see what's the actual measurement of the cordage, actual length. So it's yeah, 60 centimeters cordage. Okay, so next thing. Uh, you want to find the middle point of the cordage. When you get to the middle, you want to take a, another piece of any type of canvas, just as a uh, reinforcement, and uh, wrap it around. And it should be some uh, six, uh, five to seven centimeters off the top of the canvas. And you want to use a um, dense uh, compacted stitch. Just use a few of those to strengthen it, to hold it in place. It's gonna show on your uh, front side, so be careful how you do it. Okay, so next thing we want to do when we when we have sewn our cordage, we want to close the pouch right side facing in, wrong side facing out. And we want to keep in mind where our uh, cordage is going to be. So um, 
try to have it in a straight line from the place where you have sewn it. So we want to leave a uh, space, uh, a gap here, opening for the cordage to move. When we have secured the cordage, we want to start sewing and uh, to close the outer layer of the pouch. So you're gonna start sewing and when you come to the place where the cordage is going to be you want you you're going to want to uh, sew back and forth a few times to strengthen the seam and go back and next you're going you're going to leave some space maybe one centimeter and continue sewing and do the exact thing you did before so a few stitches up and down and continue to close the now start sewing you have to be mindful of the this part of the lower part of the canvas so it doesn't get trapped underneath and you saw your uh, chalk bag over so you want to push the lower part underneath to move it away from the needle And you want to do exact same thing you did before. When you get to the place where cordage is going to go through, you want to reinforce it and skip it. Pulling our canvas underneath, moving it away from the needle. Reinforce it. And continue sewing now that we have our cylinder and we have our place where the canvas where the cordage is going to go through we are going to go and pull the cordage through. Zip. Part where you skipped. And this is the place where the cordage is going through. Okay, so for the next part, we want to sew these two together. The way we are going to do it, we are going to sew in the middle a few rounds of stitching just to hold it in place. But um, just to hold it in place. And the rest of it is going to go free. That was it, 